This is Scott <laughs> Valentine. Be prepared as we welcome it. He don't talk like that. In no, real life. he don't. No. Hello, Scott. Hi, nice Scott. to meet you. Hi, great nice to, to have here. you here. Are you having a, the time of your life doing that show? It's great. It's fantastic. I went out to uh, California about a year ago from New York, and all my New York actor friends were saying, ah, oh, you don't want to go to California, bean sprouts, airheads. <laughs> And uh, actually, to get on the show, it's, it's such a great atmosphere. There's such a give and take. There's uh, a cooperative between the crew, the production people, the actors. There's no egos. There's no anger. It in seems that, that we hear that a lot about long lived shows. Those that last seem to have that kind of ambience. You know? Well, yeah, definitely. That's, you know, there's always a give and take, and that completes the circle. Mm. You know? And I've worked on other shows where there was such a, a problem between the, the cast and the crew. And I think a lot of times it's actually the cast fault because they forget. You know, if uh, these guys weren't here, we wouldn't be on right now. You got that right. How old are you, Scott? 27. Is there a danger, if, if I may ask, with the younger people who make it very big very soon? You, Michael J. <clears throat> Fox is a, someone who you, you like and admire, Scott Bayo, another one. Is there mm -hmm. some danger that a young actor faces when he becomes, when <clears throat> she becomes successful? Yeah, there is a lot of danger because um, you get such adulation. You know, you, you're, you're, everybody is always doing anything you want for you. You know, and uh, if you're young enough and you don't realize why you're getting this and where it's coming from, you get such a big head, eventually people are going to say, I don't want to be around this person. I'm wondering if something that happened to you early in life helped tie your feet to the ground. Um, Very much were. so. As yeah, it were. You, you were in a terrible accident. Yeah, um, four years ago, or was it about four years ago, September of 81, I was hit, run over, and dragged by a truck in New York City, which uh, laid me up for about three and a half years. Really? And right at the time, I was 23 years old, I was uh, just signed a contract for a soap in New York, uh, was negotiating a contract for Lords of Discipline, I don't know if you remember. Oh, oh sure. very so, well. And very excited about getting that, and my career was just taking off, and uh, that literally just, you know, put everything on hold. And I think a lot of teach me patience, persistence, and the fact that if you really try, if you, if you want something and you really try, you'll get it. Ironic that you went through the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, a three-year program in a year and a half, and then you find yourself laid up in bed, mm -hmm. unable to use that, that kind of speed of, of your ability to take in knowledge. Yeah. But it, Any resentment for that? Because that can cause bitterness in people. The only resentment I have is I used to run every week, every day, 56 miles a week, and I can't run now. Oh, word. Mm -hmm. um, I can run, if another truck is coming at me, I can definitely run to get out of the way. But, <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I'll bet you but can. I can't, you know, jog for um, exercise sake and for the psycho, psycho mm. psychological, what's right. the word I'm yeah, looking Tom, for? You, can, you know that <laughs> Tom, can you help me out there? <laughs> psychological. Grab that dictionary, will you please? <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, <clears throat> it teached me a lot, you know, going through rehabilitation, I was told that I would be pretty much restricted to a wheelchair and possibly a walker. For the rest of your for life? For the rest of my life. And I said, that's a bunch of bull. You know, I've, I've got too much going for me. I want to act. I, I really want this. Sure. And it teaches me a lot that each day, no matter how much, but if you just progress that much, just mm -hmm. a little bit, that's more than Any you time. did the day before. Mm -hmm. And now at this point in my career, everything happening so quick and everything being so successful, I, I think that it's helping me keep uh, my head about myself. Mm -hmm. Your wife. For. Your my wife. wife Kim, my little I think wife. It's a neat story that two of you come out of long-term relationships, determined not to get involved. But mm -hmm. the, your hearts, your hearts were in it, weren't they? Mm, definitely. I mean, we met each other. I had just come out of a four-year relationship, her two and a half-year relationship, and when we met, there was an immediate, you know, that chemistry between each other, and we told each other, you know, look, we just got out of a long-term relationship. I don't want to get involved. I like you. You like me. Let's just be buddies. And we tried to keep it that way, and then we just kept on getting closer and closer, and our logic is saying, no, 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 and our heart's saying, yes, please, 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 you know. It's what a friend of mine calls poanga. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. This, uh, this wife of yours is uh, going to deliver something uh, of, a, of a kind of a Yeah, I don't know where it May. came from. You know, it's not my fault. Pauline's <laughs> basement, I think. <laughs> <laughs> May, she's expecting you're going to be a dad? Yeah, May, our first baby, Terrific. which I'm thrilled about, and she's thrilled about but also. But it is true, there's so much happening so fast. You now have instant recognition, plus a new child, a new wife. I mean, that's a lot to, that's a lot to cope with. I also have, um, if I could blow my horn a little bit. Go ahead, e -flat. Um They are giving me my own show next year, <gasps> which we've already signed contracts to, and NBC has already guaranteed airtime. What's the show? Uh, right now, they're calling it the Scott Valentine Show. Are you um, serious? Yeah, which is, which is, which is And what's is it going to be? 
Um, it's going to be a character similar to the one which we see on Family Ties, but a little bit smarter. I mean, he'll be able to conjugate verbs, speak <laughs> whole sentences, you know, he won't grunt so much. <laughs> no, and, so you're going to leave Family Ties? Yeah, they have it worked out the way the uh, contract has worked out, as possibly I'll be back there for the beginning of next season. So it's a spinoff, is it? At first they were calling it a direct spinoff, and now they're not sure if it's going to be a spinoff or a totally different show. But, mm -hmm. but would it work out that if, hopefully it'll work out and be a great success, but if it shouldn't, can you go back to mm -hmm. Family Ties? Yes. So you're in a terrific I'm position now contractually. I'm in a great spot. Oh, boy. Great spot. I did two wow. films last year, um, which should come out this year sometime, which will be wonderful, giving people you know a little bit different view of me. What are which they? I like. One is called Remembrances from the Garden of Laura, long title. And uh, I star in that with Lynn Holly Johnson. Do you remember mm. her from Ice Castles? Yes, oh, I sure. do indeed. And uh, I play an artist, lo and behold, in that movie er, also. And uh, his way of solving problems is, look, if you're uptight, just take, uh, you know, cut out the uh, refined sugar, some good whole grains, life will be wonderful. <laughs> a, little Scott like, a little like Airheads and Bean Sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the Pats? I think the Pats are great. I love the fact that they beat the Dolphins. And uh, I have to say truthfully, I'm sorry, Boston. I really, it looks like it may be Chicago, but I, I'd be happier than oh, uh, Pi no. if they won next week. Wouldn't that be great? We, not next week. <laughs> next week, <laughs> next week, or, next or week or they the week definitely after. win. <laughs> next Scott week, Valentine, we thank, and we yeah. thank you for sharing that uh, little bit of extra news. We wish you luck in May with the baby, with all the new, uh, terrific. Incidentally, Scott Valentine appears, as you all know, on Family Ties. It is a wonderful show. It appears on NBC Thursday nights at 8.30. We can't advocate it being here with ABC, <laughs> but obviously it is a wonderful family <laughs> yeah. show. We salute you. Tom, great Eileen, to meet you. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, terrific. Thanks, Scott.